Welcome guys to Simon on the Sofa. Today I'm very uh, pleased and excited to be having a conversation with um, somebody that's recently come into to my life. This is uh, John and um, hey John. Hello, hello. <laughs> lovely to be here. It's a pleasure. Yeah, like, oh, privilege. Like, likewise, likewise. Privilege. John, uh, John sent a message. This is a spontaneous one because we plan to have a conversation at some point and synchronistically flown and, mm. and to this point now. So. Uh, um, yeah, what did we say? We were going to, I think, I, I said that, you know, where I'm at at the moment is really just talking about this, this idea of transparent communication. Mm, transparency and, and yeah, truth. Yeah, transparency and truth, yeah. So um, I'll just let you, and whatever comes up yeah. for you from that place, you know. I walked through this place and I thought, no way are we going to be able to afford this. This place screams money. It screams love, but it screams money. And so I thought, I'm going to actually just be transparent here. I'm going to do the first business negotiation in a state of total transparency. I've never used it. I use it in terms of the way I live my life, but I've never actually been in a situation where I've needed to go and do a business transaction on that basis. And I yeah. sat there with this guy and I said, just let me sell my mum to you. We can't afford this place, but this is what she has left. This is going to last two years in the place she's in at the moment and she may well make another two years. But what my mum will bring to you is love, joy, gratitude every single day because there isn't a miserable bone in her body. I'm putting in front of you my mum as an asset to your new development. I want you to come back to me and tell me whether or not you're prepared to come with an offer that we can afford. But see her as an asset. To me, it's... It, this is a lesson in truth. We can use it on every walk of life, mm. every level of life. I mean, I love what you're doing in bringing this consciousness to the fore, letting people really focus on it. Because naturally, I do try to come at life from that perspective, but I've never thought of it like that. Yeah. What you do is make people aware of that. Mm. Today is a year anniversary. Since, anniversary since you actually went on what on my vision quest. A vision quest. Yeah. So, um, but which basically is almost a, a, an inward shamanic yeah. journey, shamanic of, journey. Or, or, of many respects, yes. isn't it? You know, it's, it's called a shamanic journey, isn't it's it? It's a shamanic journey, and it's in the wild. And it's basically you, you go off alone for a duration of it's usually four nights, four four and a half days, where you go alone into the wilderness, and you are trained in what how you work with that time and how you use it for yourself, energetically. Um, and you do on the last night and all night vigil where you actually step in at sunset and you, you, into, you build a circle, a power circle, you step in at sunset from the west, you, you do all your processing and your work throughout the night and you call for your vision and then you step into the sunrise, into the east. And by, in that process, it's, it's, a, it's an idea that by stepping into the circle from the west, you're saying goodbye to your old life. You're actually allowing your old life to die. And then you're doing the process work that you have set as, the, as a goal yeah. for that time over that night within that space and that you enter a new life by walking into the sunset. Mm -hmm.